Hi, I'm Laura Martin, and today I'll be working on a commission of Spider Gwen by Harvey Talibao. Oddly enough, I am much newer at traditional coloring than I am at digital coloring. I was a digital colorist for 10, 15 years before I started with markers. It's been a learning curve for sure. There's no one new, there's no hue saturation, there's no levels or anything on traditional, so pretty much when you put down the color, you better like it. I've never actually colored Spider Gwen digitally, so I was totally excited to get the piece. I love her costume, it's one of my favorite designs that's come out recently. I immediately jumped at the chance, of course, to take the commission. Like I would with any other page, I'll try to visualize the page first before I lay down any sort of colors. The first thing I thought about was this color bar in the background. I wanted something that she would stand out against. I debated with yellow, I debated with you know other crazy colors, and somehow I came up with this blue-green that matches her shoes. And then I couldn't decide what to do with her backpack, and I went with a green, and I fought with that a little bit, so I made it a darker green. But I really wanted to show off her blonde hair and her skin tone and that beautiful maroonish color that's inside of her cowl and her and on her suit. That's not a color you see usually on superheroes. You see red on superheroes. You don't see this beautiful, you know, maroon. The truth is the focus is on her, is on her face, is on her suit. So that's the critical point that I wanted to get across on this one. I think one of the biggest challenges colorists have is to take essentially straight up black and white art and turn it into something that's dimensional and has depth and distance and atmosphere. There's a lot that goes into the inks on that, of course. The inkers can do amazing things with line weights, but it's also a big challenge because I don't want to overcolor and overpower the line art. It's important to me to collaborate and make sure that my colors are literally an extension of their line art and I want to honor them. Wow, the first the first Marvel piece that I did must have been well it mm, that's a good question. 